May may magsasagot naman tayo ng mga ilang problems involving uh, using the properties of exponents and radicals. So, let's start with problem number one. So, meron tayong letter A, cube root ng A and square root ng B. So, alam natin yung A ay 27 at yung B ay 64. So, sa pagsagot ng mga um, problems involving uh, properties of exponents and radicals, dapat memorize na talaga yung uh, multiplication table. So, yung third root on 27 would be 3, kasi 3 times 3 times 3 is 27, multiplied by the square root of 64, which is 8. So, ang 3 times 8 is equal to 24. So, yung A natin is equal to uh, 24. And then, dun sa letter... C natin, meron tayong third root ng A plus 2 times square root of B quantity squared. So, let's replace A and B by 27 and uh, 64. Kasi yun yung value niya. So, third root ng 27 plus 2 times square root of 64. And then, you'll square it afterwards. So, para lang kayo nagagawa ng or nagsasagot ng order of operations. So, alam natin this is equal to 3 plus 2 times 8 squared. So, we have 3 plus 2 times 8 is 16. And then, you square it. 16 plus 3 is going to be 19. And then, square. And 19 squared is equal to 361. Because 19 times 19 is 361. So, yan yung letter uh, C natin. And then, yung problem number 3 naman. So, um, wag nyo lang pansin yung numbering kasi yung mga numberings ko is just alternating. So, yung number 3 natin. Dito natin gagamitin yung uh, rational exponents or yung pag-change ng A raised to N over M will be M root of a to the n. So, yan yung properties na gagamitin natin for number 3. So, we have 2x raised to 1 half times 4 times x to the negative 5 over 2. So, gagamitan natin siya ng uh, laws of exponents para masimplify natin siya. So, 2x to the 1 half multiplied by 4x to the negative 5 over 2. So, yung ating coefficient will be multiplied and then yung ating variable ay multiply din natin negative 5 over 2 now alam natin na yung rule ng exponent yung rule ng exponent kapag ka meron tayong uh, same variable and we're multiplying it we're going to add the exponent so we'll have 2 times 4 which is 8 multiplied by x of 1 half minus 5 over 2 kasi um, negative yung 5 over 2 and 1 half minus 5 over 2 madali lang siyang sagutin kasi para yung denominator so 1 minus 5 is negative 4 so we'll have 8 times x to the negative 4 over 2 which is negative 2 so 8 times x to the negative 2 so ito ngayon yung ating uh, sagot sa rat um for letter number 3 pero we can still further simplify it if you want to get rid of the negative exponent so magkakaroon tayo ng 8 all over x squared so ito yung other version ng ating uh, answer kung i-apply natin yung uh, law of negative exponent so yan yung problem number 3 now for problem number 5 we have um, 3 x to the 1 fourth raised to the negative 2. So, gagamitan natin siya ng um, uh, distributive property. Pwede natin i-distribute yung power to 3 and 2 x to the negative fourth. So, we have 3 to the second or negative uh, 2 multiplied by x times 1 fourth times negative 2. So, alam natin ito. Kung change natin siya sa negative exponent will be 1 over 3 squared multiplied by x to the 1 fourth times negative 2 and 1 fourth of negative 2 will turn into negative 2 all over 4 so your negative 2 all over 4 can be simplified so we'll have 1 over 9 times 
x to the negative 1 half. So since negative yung exponent natin, pwede natin siyang gawing 1 over 9 times 1 over x to the 1 half. At pwede natin siyang simplify as 1 over 9 square root of x. So yan yung um, sagot natin. So pwede natin gamitin ito as our answer. And if you want to further simplify it, Using the law of exponent, we can also show it as 1 over 9 square root of x. Now, for number 7, we have 27 over x to the 6, and it's inside the third root. So, pwede natin gawin is paghiwalayin natin yung numerator and denominator. We can rewrite this as cube root of 27 all over the cube root of x to the 6. So, alam natin yung cube root ng 27 is 3 at ito naman pwede natin i-change as x raised to 6 all over 3 which we can further simplify as 3 over x squared. So, yung uh, problem number 7 is going to be 3 over x squared as a result. So, yan yung ating uh, uh, paggamit ng uh, rational exponents and simplify ng equation. Now, yung last problem nat natin, number 9, will have fourth root of 16, x to the 12, y to the 24th, z to the 6th. So, every time meron akong ganitong problems, what I do is, pinaghihiwalay ko yung mga coefficients at mga variable para hindi ako malito. So, meron akong 4th root ng 16 and 4th root ng x to the 12, y to the 24, and z to the 6. So, yung 4th root ng 16 is 2 kasi 2 times 2 is 4 and then 2 times 2 is 4. Multiply them both is going to be 16. And then this will turn into x to the 12th times y to the 24th times z to the 6 raised to 1 over 4. So by the distributive property, we can distribute the exponent to each term. So we'll have 2 times x to the 12 over 4, y is 24 over 4, and z is 6 all over 4. Now among the three variables, it Itong x and y, pwede, natin mag, oh, pwede tayo magkaroon ng uh, whole number as our exponent, pero ito, magkakaroon tayo ng um, remainder. So, meron tayo ngayong 2 times x to the 3rd power times y to the uh, 24 divided by 4 is going to be 6. And yung z natin, yung 4, will go into 6 one time with the leftover of 2 or remainder of 2, so pwede natin siyang gawing z1 times z to the remainder 2 is 2 over 4, or 1 half. So yung ating ngayong, uh, um, yung ating sagot would be uh, equal to 2, ito pagsasamahin natin siya, 2x cubed times y to the 6z, and then yung ating z, uh, pwede natin change to one half, so square root of z. So yan yung sagot natin for problem number 9 using the law of exponents.